Hi friends, it's Kristen. How are we doing? For today's video, I have my Pandora's Box of Indie Obsessions. If you are not familiar with the subscription bag or box, well, it comes in a bag. Um, it is a monthly subscription. It um, features all indie brands, usually get samples of whatever they offer in their shop. It's usually like jewelry, some makeup, some body care, some skin care, things like that. Um, usually we get 11 items, 10 to 11 items. It is $25 a month with a $5 shipping fee. And I always have so much fun opening it. Um, it has like a horror movie, TV type theme usually. This month I believe is Annabelle. Which I actually haven't seen. I like horror movies, but I don't think I've seen that one. Um, no particular reason. I just haven't gotten around to it. I've seen some out of it because it's like the first movie, I think, in the Conjuring series. And I've seen the Conjuring. Um, I've seen the Nun. So it comes in this mailer. It used to just come in like a plastic bag, but now it comes in this mailer. And I finally read the description and this mailer was designed by a woman and her daughter who her daughter went through recovery from drug addiction and um, this helps um, recovery it helps people with recovery that's what the proceeds go to and I thought that was really cool it is something that affects my life directly um, I had a brother who passed from uh, substance abuse so um, yeah, I, I do like that we, um, have that in here, so. Alrighty. It smells delicious. Like, I don't know what it is. We, we've gotten candles and wax melts and lotions and potions and all, not really potions. Like, if you guys are afraid of witchcraft, there's no actual witchcraft in here, um, that I know of anyway. <laughs> so. All right, let's start. I'm just gonna kind of blindly pull stuff up. All right, this is from Sorinda's Enchantments. These are incense cones. I used to have like an incense burner like years and years ago, like when I was a teenager. And I got a new one because I got some of these and I still haven't used it yet. I just haven't thought of it. So this is from Sorinda's Enchantments, which is run by Amy, who also puts this bag together. So you go to Sorinda's Enchantments, um, like sign up they have the link there to sign up for the bag um, but I will post that link down below and this is in Bathsheba Bathsheba I don't I'm not sure what the spell is I don't want to like open it because I don't know if that like affects their lasting time or anything so oh we got this cool little um paper that is got that symbol like a, an old-fashioned stamp I almost don't want to break it maybe I don't have to maybe I do if only I knew what I did with my tweezers I got a hold of it, so if I can pull it out, I don't know if I can. There we go. Oh, okay. Everything you, you see in here is either haunted, cursed, or has been in some kind of ritualistic practice. Oh, <laughs> I think, I think this is like meant to be like a bookmark. At least that's kind of what came to mind. But like, this is just a cut, a cool little, for me, a little decor item. I might put it up like on my, one of my bookshelves. Um, but yeah, I think I will use this as a bookmark. One kind of complaint that I have about this is I, it doesn't come with a card. Usually they do announce all the other um, brands that they're working with on like their Instagram. And, but it doesn't necessarily tell you which product comes from which one or all of them anyway. So that's, that's kind of my one complaint is that I don't, we don't get a card explaining like, and I don't like, I don't know what brand this is from, but it's not branded at all. So if I love it, I can't, I might be able, like, I'm sure I could um, message Amy and ask her. 
Thank you for sorting my business. This is from Dot Dot Cosmetics. Oh, they're out of Colorado. I did, we've gotten things from Dot Dot Cosmetics before, but I didn't realize they're out of Colorado, which is not my state, but one of the states close to me. Oh, nice. So we have gotten um, loose pigments from them before. This is an Emerald Bliss, but it also came with a eyeshadow brush. And it just says eyeshadow brush. So it's not branded. So it makes me wonder if it's kind of like a wholesale. It doesn't feel bad. I would probably use this to just kind of like pat down a shimmer, like pat down like this kind of like loose shadow. I would dip it in and go like that. So the Emerald Bliss is, you know, a green. I don't feel like there's a lot of shimmer to it. Maybe there is. Try to not make a mess. Oh, yeah, there's shimmer to it. What was I? I don't know if you guys will be able to see it enough so you don't want to spill it. But yeah, I was like, oh, is it like a matte? But no. So let's use this brush and dip it in there. That looks like, and I have, I don't have primer or glitter glue or anything, which I always use as shimmers, even if they're not like, have a lot of fallout. Oh, there we go. Nice, pretty green sh shimmer. Nothing, nothing wild, but very pretty. Okay. Awesome. Sorry guys. I feel like you guys just watch me struggle half the video. Okay. Ooh, and we got something else from Sorinda's Enchantment. This is in Lorraine. This is um, Wax Melts. This is Apple, Cinnamon, Spice, and Caramel. I know it's winter time, but it's very like a fall vibe, but winter too, I guess. Ooh, that smells nice. I like that. All right. I like how the, the caramel kind of, like caramel sweet, but it's... I don't know. I'm really bad at like <laughs> smells and describing them. I like it. We'll just go with that. This is just cool. There's like glitter in there and stuff. All right. Something from Halo Cosmetics, which we get also get fairly often. This is an eyeshadow. It's in the shade Warren's. They tend to be like a satiny ones we have gotten before. I've had hit or miss luck with them and some of that's just you know personal preference of what you like in a shadow I've actually got one that was I thought a gorgeous highlight and that's what I've used it for and this is it's hard to see I'm playing with my lights and stuff guys this also is another one that might be like a nice um, highlighter or like a blush you know, it's not pink enough really to be a blush shopper but and it's hard to see, but it's pretty. And it might just add, like I wouldn't put it on my eyelid without something underneath it. But if you have like a pink or like a light purple base, it might look super pretty on top of that to give it just a little something extra. I got something different looking. Don't sweat the spirits um, deodorant. Oh, okay. We've not got a deodorant before, at least I haven't. This box has actually been around for years, but I've only been subscribing to it for less than a year, maybe like nine, ten months. I have skipped before just for like financial reasons. Um, there we go. Sorry, I'm loud. Oh, I, oh, that's, I'm confused. <laughs> so like the deodorant's in there, but look at that, like, I don't, like, I'm, I'm confused at how to use it because it doesn't like go up, it doesn't twist. What does it say? This is the ingredients. 
It smells really nice. It's like a packed powder. I don't know. I'm, I wish I had instructions, but also I don't know how I would use this. So, and it doesn't seem to have a brand name that I can see. It says The Conjuring, but, and then it has something underneath it, but I can't make it out. It just looks like num a number, like 09 maybe. It's hard to see. So I'm a little baffled and not, not stoked about that one, I'll be honest. This is a Mystic Beauty House Conjuring Body Butter. Because if I were to open it, I was gonna show you. I like the sticker around it, even though that doesn't really give like the conjuring Annabelle. Yeah, I thought it was Annabelle, but maybe it's just the conjuring in general. I just remember them showing them uh, like pictures of Annabelle as the spoiler. That, but I try not to look at the spoilers too in depth because I like to be surprised. So looks like that. It's a little yellow kind of, I think. And just I am getting maybe some lemon in there. There's turmeric in there, so that's um good for like any kind of inflammation. Hmm. I'm not gonna smell like I've said, so got a tiny little at first I thought it was a lip gloss but no I don't think so this is from Augustus Rose design this little thing I think it's some kind of fragrance or maybe an oil come on fingers fragrance and oh no strange and unusual mystery scent okay yeah, it's got the little, it looks like Lydia Dietz from Beetlejuice on there. That's a little off theme as far as the conjuring, but I don't mind. We might get in here. This is my least favorite fragrance sample device. Hmm. I don't hate it. I don't like love it. It's different. It is strange and unusual. Not bad though. I just don't know how to describe it because I don't do smells well. <laughs> and then we got a Devil Made Me Do It lip gloss from Tater Rams at Beauty. It is purple. Let's see. So it looks like, try a little bit on. already wearing lip gloss I probably should have wiped it off first but okay that feels nice actually I've not liked a whole lot from Tater Rounds Beauty we usually get it every month and usually it's kind of like okay but I've just not really super enjoyed it but I like that nice then next up from Forever Shine Collections which we see very often when the Music stops, you'll see him. Boysenberry, elderberry, pomegranate, vanilla. That sounds wonderful. Oh, yes, yes, it is. It's wonderful. It smells delicious. All right, looks like two more things, I think. Oh, we got um, a pair of earrings. Um, we usually get earrings, usually, they're a little more like niche and fun and kind of novelty. Um, but we got a pair like this last month too. It's got these like really pretty, just iridescent circles. Um, very nice. It's got like, looking at it straight on, it's a little bit goldy with more pink, but if you move it, there's like some yellow and green. 
you know, I love me a multi-chrome anything really. So All right, I think we got the last item, which is the candle. Yay! We get, we get this candle or candles from this company fairly frequently, not every single month, but pretty frequently. It's a Freebird candle supply and this is in Ponderosa. And the fairy tale is true. The devil exists, God exists, and for us as people, our very destiny hinges upon which one we elect to follow from Ed Warren. Yeah, I'm definitely getting Ponderosa, um, pine tree, tree forest vibes out of that. So that was it. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12 items. So that's great. If you think about it that way, it's about 250 an item. I like everything except for this deodorant. I just, I'm confused. So, um, yeah, so I'm happy. I always love opening this. It's always so fun. One, it's different than just like my usual beauty boxes. There's usually some beauty in it. So that's nice, usually some skincare, body care, but I like really like getting the candles, the unusual things um, like this. Uh, like I said, I'll use it as a bookmark. Um, you know, getting incense, wax melts, that's great. This lip gloss feels really nice. Um, the earrings. I like getting these because I can like wear these every day, but like the niche novelty ones are fun too. Like I got a ghost face one with a little knife. I think that's super cool. Um, and I love the candle. These smell really great. They, for like a little one wick, four ounce candle, they pack a pretty good punch. Um, yeah, so that was the Pando Pandora's Box of Indie Obsessions. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please like subscribe, comment down below, send your friends. We have fun. Um, if you check out my Max Monday Christmas video, there is a little surprise giveaway in there. I won, so you can too. So I think you guys should check that out. You might be interested. And I really appreciate you guys spending time with me. I know it's a busy time and you chose to be here with me and I love that. So thank you so much and I'll see you next time.